What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Big Cardi here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my top five meta loadouts in Warzone. Kicking off with the season five update, a lot of things got buffed, a lot of things got nerfed, some things even stayed the same. Some guns you probably wouldn't even think would even be meta right now, but this is why I'm showing you guys this video today, so I can show you what guns to use that's overpowered and you can get a lot of kills with these weapons. Now I would like to ask before we kick off the video, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, turn those post notifications. We closing in on 7,000 subscribers. Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button. Please, please, please. Let's try to go for 30 likes on today's video. I'm doubling it for my last few goals. And let's get right into the video. So for today's first weapon that we have on the top five metal loadouts will be the Graw from Modern Warfare. You guys love this weapon and let's just get straight into the class setup we got the monolithic suppressor for that sound suppression and damage range we got the tempest 26.4 inch arc angle angel for the damage range bullet velocity and recoil control gotta stay on target when we hit our enemies man we got the commando foregrip for the recoil stabilization and aim stability we got the 50 the 60 round mag for that magazine ammo capacity mowing down a lot of those enemies and then last but not least we have the vlk 3.0 x optic Everybody that know about the growl, this is the OG class setup. Or if you would like, you can take off the VLK and you can put on something like fully loaded or sleight of hand. Hell, you can even put on a, a rear grip if you wanted to. Even attack laser, I would even put on too. But this is the class setup for the growl 556. And let's go ahead to the next meta weapon. So for the next metal weapon we have is the Armageddon 43. Now it's so funny because they nerfed this weapon. And I'm talking nerfed and it's still good. Like it's literally the best SMG right now in the in, in, in Warzone. So without further ado, let's get right into the class up. Let me explain. So we got the recoil booster for that added fire rate. We got the body 570 precision barrel for that highly accurate and controllable headshot damage and bullet velocity. Now it does take away body damage, but we got something in place for that one. Next, we have the Mark 6 skeletal, which is the aim down sight and movement speed. Gotta have that movement speed, that mobility. We got the 60 round mag for that magazine ammo capacity. You know, we gotta mow down our enemies in, in these high kill, you know, in these high game modes, man. Then we got some Sonic for that no minimap ping and fire invisibility to enemies you know we ain't got no suppressor so we got to stay off that minimap you know be stealthy then we got the slate reflector we got the take grip for the aim stability movement speed weapon swap quickly and sprint to fire speed then we have the emma riddle sa folder for sprint to fire speed and movement speed and then last but not least we have vital like i said it's gonna take it for that body damage and that increased torso damage and then last but not least we have quick for added sprint speed that is the armagera setup now Let's get right into the next weapon. For our next weapon, we got is the Automaton. This assault rifle is from Vanguard, and man, oh man, does it shred. I mean, this is probably one of the best long range options we have in the game at this exact moment. It didn't even get buffed, but man, is it feeling like a beast. I don't wanna talk you guys' heads off. Let's get right into this class setup. So we got the MX Silencer. This give us the sound suppression, horizontal recoil control, vertical recoil control, and damage range. Gotta be more those enemies down from afar. And we got the Zax 600 BFA, which is, it gives us highly accurate and controllable and a reduced scope swing. Gun Bob, gotta stay on target when I'm when we hit our enemies, but I'm telling you. Then we got that Carver Forger for that vertical recoil control and hit fire accuracy. I don't even know if the Carver Forger got a buff. I I think it really did because this thing literally like it like it makes this gun don't move or almost any ar and make it don't move so next we have the secure 75 round drum just literally just a drum mag you know an extended mag for us to mow down these enemies then we have lengthen for that increased bullet velocity we have the polymer grip for that flinch resistance and accuracy re and recoil during sustained fire then we have the G16 2.58 optic. It gives us that magnification, accuracy, compact scope, and it's a recoil control. Then we have tight grip for that accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. We have fully loaded, and last but not least, we have Anastasia padded for even more accuracy and recoil during sustained fire and flinch resistance. So that is the automaton class setup. Let's get into the next weapon. Now for our next weapon is a weapon I didn't even think will even be metal right now but man this thing is really slapping so without further ado we have the ppsh in vanguard as our next metal weapon so to kick off this class setup we have the recoil booster for the added fire rate we have the covalent 
Kovalevskaya 230 for that hip fire accuracy, hip fire recoil recovery, recoil recovery, and added fire rate. Then we have the Carver foregrip for that vertical recoil control and hip fire accuracy. If you guys don't know, this is a hip fire, a hip fire build for this gun. It was uh, met up uh, seasons ago and they're now bringing it back. Now we have the eight millimeter Nambu 70 round mag. It was gives us recoil control, the accuracy, fire rate, and magazine ammo capacity. Now in the last update, they took away the damage penalty from uh the 70 from, from the nambu rounds so without further ado this is what we're gonna be using so last but not least we got the lengthen for that bullet velocity slate reflector fabric grip for the aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed hit fire accuracy tight grip remove stock hit fire accuracy movement speed sprint to fire speed and then quick for that added sprint speed so this would be the class setup for the ppsh and let's get right into the last weapon so last but not least this weapon received a very big buff and if you guys don't know this is the striker 45 from modern warfare this gun has never ever been any type of viable during warzone history maybe it was usable back when the health wasn't so high especially back in like your dance i mean you could have got away with it but you typically seen no one using this gun but it recently received a buff especially to compete with some of these smgs that we have now and let me go ahead and just explain the class of the for you guys so for today we got the monolithic suppressor for the sound suppressor and damage range we're using a 300 millimeter poly barrel for that damage range and bullet velocity we gotta have that bullet velocity to hit our targets faster and that damage range to extend the the, the window of how far we can you know shoot our enemies especially with an smg like this then we have the 45 round mag you know nothing special just you know an extended mag so we can shoot more enemies you know you have more damage per mag then we have the f f tag g5 xo which gives us that ads speed and sprint to fire speed we gotta have that mobility going on and last but not least we got the xrk gen 3 survivalist series this gives us that added ads speed so this will be the class setups make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe and turn on those post notifications man we all know like i said we on our way to 7k and like i said yeah this will be our top five meta class setups for the season five update you guys have a wonderful day and peace